Good morning, it's MJ, the creator of the Wise Duck and the Crow Tarot and the Grimalkin Tarot. And this is um, the reading for the collective using the Wise Dog. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. It's been kind of yucky here at our house. Um, both Riv and I have been pretty sick. She's, I think, far off than I am. I mean, her cough is just horrible. But anyway, at least today I woke up and my throat felt so much better. Yay! So, let's get started, shall we? This is a general reading for the collective using the new Wise Dog, the non-janky deck, um, for September 20th, I think. Oops. Oh, hello. Let's try that again. By the way, this deck is so nice and easy to shuffle. Um, it just feels, it just feels soft. I like cards that feel soft in my hands. Um, I tend to get dry hands over the winter and my hands are pretty small. And so I like cards that just sort of feel comfortable. And that's how these feel. They feel really nice and, um, just really solid without being hurtful. <laughs> Let's get started. So make sure that we're really good and shuffled. The first card I'm going to pull is our current energy, and this is the energy that we're working with today. It is present if we want to tap into it. Sometimes we don't really have a choice. I mean, it's available to us if we want it. Sometimes it's so loud and obnoxious that it calls us, it calls our attention. So let's see what we're working with here. And so here we start off with the Page of Cups, and I believe this is Rockstar. And Rockstar is listening to the fish, and it's being this message is being delivered in a very unusual way in that there's an octopus arm holding the cup. Um, and this message is coming through, although sometimes it can seem a bit... Um, it can be it can be uh, difficult to hear sometimes because of distractions like you might hear like the seagull overhead but nonetheless this fish is very persistent and it's it's trying to get through a message that is one of opening up your heart of experiencing something new of um, perhaps seeing people in a different light of allowing prejudices to sort of just slip away for a little bit to remove that veil you know the, that keeps us um, from seeing people as as spiritual beings, right? We all have that that ability to turn it on and turn it off. You know, it's like it's it's really easy to turn um, to turn off our um, our ability to see people as spiritual beings. When we sort of just put them in a box, right? And we're like, well, you don't fit into my tribe, so I'm not gonna talk with you. I'm not going to value your opinion or whatnot. You know, um, you, you encounter this a lot, like in the workplace, you know, you have people who are in your tribe and who you value their opinion. But if somebody kind of falls outside the line, you kind of just like, you know, you may listen to what they have to say, but it's usually with, uh, you know, an ear, an ear towards um, indifference. And so this right now is this energy of, of opening up the heart of removing that veil, allowing that person to step back into your your tribe, even though they may not necessarily live there, um, of seeing people from a new perspective. Because when you do that, something is going to come to you. Information will come to you that will serve you at this time. And so let's see what external influences this page of cups brings. And I just have to say, I mean, I, I really am digging how this deck feels. Um, and also the colors. I mean, I know I keep saying it, it's like, when you send your children out into the world, you never know what is gonna come back when they return. And it's like, I'm so happy to see that they're so bright <laughs> and clearly defined. So. Here we have the Six of Cups. So you may be feeling a bit more playful going into the weekend. This little pup is in this, this water as it's swirling around and there's a little toy fish 
I imagined when I made this card that it's um, like being in one of those little pools, the like kiddie pools, and this puppy playing in it. And then the flowers in here are forget-me-nots, which is funny because I mentioned that about the Grimalkin deck, the last card I made used forget-me-nots. And this is a reminder to not forget your childhood and to not forget that, that sense of whimsy that we have as kids, that a sense of wonder of, of letting the world sort of just unfold around us. And so you may encounter somebody who this weekend or, you know, today, maybe it's Friday night, you go out, you might encounter somebody who is outside your tribe, right? Who you, you look at and you go, oh, like three days ago, you would have never even given the time of day. But tonight, for some reason, perhaps it's the tequila, <laughs> you know, you're in this mood to engage with this person and something good will come of it. This is where you get to kind of let loose, perhaps. You get to play and enjoy life. And so let's see what advice these crows, or crows, oh, that's a, all right, that's, that is because that's habit. Um, see what advice the dogs bring back and see if it keeps with this story of having a good time, perhaps with somebody new, of opening your heart, of feeling youthful, Getting your groove back, maybe. You know, if you went through a divorce or if you had a rotten day at work, you may be out tonight and you may encounter somebody who's just the life of the party. And because of that, you know, they sort of have this youthful demeanor. So, ah, we've got a lot of cups happening. Okay, so here with the five of cups coming through, you know, this could be, a sign to you to not overlook something. You may be focused on what this person is lacking or how immature they are, maybe. But what you're missing is all the, the goodness that they could bring to your life. Um, the vibe I get here is to have fun. This weekend is about having fun, about not letting something or someone get under your skin or not let the a situation um, that may not have gone the way you wanted to go don't focus on that or don't focus on all the ways that this person does not check all the boxes that you have for you know perhaps a partner um, this may be a time for you to you know see this person or, or you know understand that this is something greater than what's missing there may be something there that you're that you're missing as a result of it so this little bird up here in the the corner is um you know trying to signal here and so we have this little bird over here and it's the same little bird they're like this one's sitting on the branch watching and this one over here is saying hey stop focusing on what is lacking here and focus on all the good things that you have so this person who's going to come in, you know, they're going to fill a role. They're, they're here to play a part in your, in your play. That is your life. And how you want to perceive that person or how you want to interact with that person is up to you. The question that I get here is, you know, are you looking for something that isn't there when there's so much to um, appreciate? You know, so if this person comes in and they're just goofy, maybe, you know, their position in your play or their, their role in your play isn't one of being the leading man or leading lady. It may be that they're here just to help you kind of get out of a funk and to get you back into that mode of play and wonder and enjoying life. You know, don't try to make them to be something that they're not. Instead, appreciate what they bring to the table. And so here again, this is like right now you are at this time to appreciate something new, appreciate something different, to open yourself up to new experiences. And when you do that, I feel like that's going to be what opens the door for this energy of, of playfulness. So again, don't, you know, it's like, I think my, my friend Seth said to me a long time ago, don't go looking for peaches in a strawberry field. And, you know, I, 
<laughs> as simple as that is, I mean, there's some wisdom there. And I kind of feel like that's what's going on here is that you're getting you're you're getting something that's wonderful okay it may not look like what you're expecting it to look like so don't focus on that focus on all the good the good stuff that this person may bring out and it may not be that this person is here to be you know um a consistent player you know in this role you know or you know in this play of yours this you know they may not be the the person who has all the lines, they may actually be somebody who's just very important in helping you sort of shift or pivot in a new direction. So anyway, I hope this reading makes sense and I hope you love these dogs. Oh my God, can I just tell you how excited, look at how beautiful the cards look. I'm oh, sorry, I'm so excited. Oh, you just don't know. It's like, you don't know, you know, until you get it. Like, you're just like, oh God, what if there was like a major printing error or something? And But they look great. They just look so good. So here is the Page of Cups, the little octopus. Here is the Six of Cups swirling around. This is your intuition. And there's the little fish that represents your intuition, the little forget-me-nots. The fog kind of rolling in here in the background, the little bird, the little puppy having fun in the water. And then we have the Five of Cups. And again, like the detail, just, it's wonderful. Came out great. And I love the colors. So anyway, and again, like this right here, we look at all the colors here and they, you see this common theme here of the water as well. Kind of as it's, it's flowing and sort of wraps around the Six of Cups. If you kind of, if you follow the water, you see how it goes like this and it wraps around and it kind of plays around here for a little bit and then it heads out here to the five of cups so i do love how things like that pull together so much love peace bye for now and i will talk with you later bye